Good morning guys, this is the current situation. We've just left to go meet Melissa for some brunch and I didn't realise it was raining so I've got a scarf and a bolly and I'm trying to push the pram one handed. We've got to love the enthusiasm of us Brits in the rain. <laughs> it's absolutely pouring it down. I haven't got any change or I'd give them some money. Made my day. Bit of a rushed start to the morning, which is why I've only just started vlogging. But we've come to Bill's to meet Auntie Melissa, haven't we? It's my birthday today, so we're going to start it off with a bit of birthday brunch. Breakfast has come. I've got eggs royale, an orange juice and a cappuccino and I've got to somehow try and eat it with this little one on me he was trying to get my plate <laughs> <laughs> we finished brunch and Melissa's taken the Lila off my hands for the next hour, hour and a half, two hours maybe because I really need to get editing vlogmas before I go home. I have popped into Fenix because I'm going to buy myself some candles. I've been burning my candles so much recently and I've pretty much run out so I'm going to get some candles from my favourite brand, Neon. My mum got me this big one for my birthday last year. It's really nice but I think I'm going to get myself a different one this year. This one smells so good. I'm going to get this one. It's called Tranquility, which is... Where is it? I can't find it. Oh, it's down here. So I don't know whether to get it. The small one or the big one. I might just get the small one for now. Back home now. It's such a windy, rainy day today. I feel a bit windswept. So yeah, I can. I feel like I can finally chat with you guys without rushing and people staring at me in public. Today's my birthday. Woo! It doesn't really feel like my birthday. I feel like. Once you sort of hit 18 plus, birthdays never really feel like birthdays. Doesn't matter how special they're made or how much you celebrate. I don't know whether it's just me. With half the stuff I do, like birthday and Christmas and holidays, I feel like when you're younger, there's such a build up to it. And when you get older, it's sort of, it just it just appears. The day comes and you're like, oh, it's my birthday. Oh, it's holiday, it's Christmas. And a lot of the time I feel like I'm on the outside looking in. Like it's, it's a lot of the time it feels like it's not really happening. Like it feels surreal. I'd, I don't know, it's such strange. <laughs> For anyone wondering how old I am, because I get asked about how old I am all the time, I usually get, how old are you? And I go, oh, I'm I'm such and such age. And then they go, ha ha ha, oh my God, I thought you were 16 years old. Oh, ha, ha, so funny. So today I'm 24. So I'm officially in my mid twenties. When did that happen? I, I don't know. I still feel about 18. When I was younger, I thought that when I'd have my own flat and I'd be paying my bills and my rent, I would feel like an adult all of a sudden, but I feel exactly the same. And it's kind of like, the same with becoming a mum, I thought that I'd have this wave of feeling completely different, but I don't, I still feel myself, but I'm a mum, which is a really weird, weird concept. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. E even like adults that I know who are 20, 30 years older than me still go, yep, yeah, you still feel like that when you're 50. So um, yeah, I'm probably always gonna feel like this. But anyway, yeah, 24 today. And uh, this time last year, I had horrific morning sickness. Um, and this year, I have Delilah, uh, which is crazy. I'm not feeling too tired today for once because um, we've been starting to put her to bed a little bit earlier recently and I think it's paying off and I think she prefers going to bed a bit earlier because last night she slept for three hours, had a feed, slept for another three hours, had a feed, slept for another three hours and then maybe did like two hours 
Oh, hang on. Maybe, no, maybe she did another hour. But yeah, she, she slept for a good few chunks. Obviously, for the first three hours, I was still up and having dinner and watching. We watched the holiday last night, which was nice. But for the other two chunks of three hours, I got to sleep. I mean, it kind of takes me a while to drift off. But, you know, it's better than waking up every hour. I am going to open my new candle. I really like this brand. They're organic and they're clean burning. So they don't sort of leave black soot everywhere. And they're a little bit better for the air. A little bit purer. There we go. Oh, and I finally bought myself some of these on Amazon. They are candle wick trimmers, so I can properly cut my um, candle wicks now. Right, now to crack on with some Vlogmas editing because I'm so behind. So hopefully I can get lots edited. Finally got this video edited. It's just exporting. So whilst this is exporting, I am going to Hoover quickly. I got myself this Vax Hoover for days like today where I want to Hoover, but I don't really have time to get Hetty out. So this I'll have to do. <laughs> Also gonna have a quick little pump because my mum's gonna look after Delilah for a bit later so she'll just need a teeny tiny bit of milk. I actually have some milk in the freezer but usually on the day that Delilah's gonna have a bottle I like to pump some fresh milk because then um, I can just give her the fresh milk and not use the frozen stuff i've mentioned this before i think but when you defrost frozen milk you can't refreeze it and it has to be used within the day but also the only milk that i've got in the freezer at the moment are two four or five ounce bottles she's not going to need a whole five ounces so it will most likely go to waste so we're only leaving delilah for maybe an hour hour and a half later and uh, we've booked a table um to go have some dinner and my mum's going to look after her then and it's not until half past seven so i will probably feed her before i go and then she's probably not going to need anything and if she does she'll only need a couple of ounces so that's that's why i'm pumping now and whilst i pump i'm also going to sort out the thumbnail whilst the video uploads Wow, I was not planning on pumping <laughs> four ounces. That is more than enough. I'm just doing the thumbnail and I'm debating whether to use this as the picture. It almost seems cruel, but look at that face. Otherwise, I don't really know what I'm going to call it. The only other screenshots I sort of got that aren't similar to all the other ones that I've put up already is like these two. And I'd call this what, like, give me the camera or draw everywhere or something. Or I could upload this one. <laughs> I just feel really mean, but it's also really cute at the same time. This one's back home. Apparently she slept for the whole time, Melissa was pushing her around in the pram. So she's had a nice sleep. You're in a good mood, aren't you? And I have some more cards that arrived in the post, so I'm gonna open these. Although that one's not for me. Oh, oh, thank you. It's very helpful. That's not for me, that's for a neighbor. Um, but I have some more birthday cards. Are you holding that one for me? <laughs> You're doing a good job at that. Oh, honestly, I don't know what i would have done without family the last month obviously she's older now so she can spend more time away from me but this month has been really busy so everyone's been such a big help is that nice is that tasty from melissa just taking delilah out for an hour or two my grandma walking her around to dog's parents having delilah overnight a couple of times i don't know what i would do without the help of my parents and dog's parents and family. I know there are plenty of people that have no help whatsoever and I know I'd be fine without the help but it is nice for it to be there and to have it. Well, um, Delilah, that's a very wet Christmas card now. <laughs> that's a very wet Christmas card. Oh, now it's a wet Christmas card on the floor. There we go. Don't show everyone our address though. No birthday cards at all. Um, I, I thought they were all birthday cards, but they're not. I got a Christmas card from our friends Faye and Sean, which I wasn't even expecting. So I'm going to pop one in the post for them and hope that they get it before Christmas. I didn't realise any of our friends were going to do cards. Otherwise, I would have sent them one. It says, Dear Douglas, Rhiannon and Delilah. 
have a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful, amazing Christmas and a wonderful New Year. There you go. Read it for me. Hope Delilah's first Christmas is a magical day. You're going to have a magical... Delilah, it's not very nice. They wrote that card all for you. Oh, and then can we just... Can we just look at this card right now? <laughs> Have you put a little bit of slobber all over it? Should we open it? Should we open it? Oh, it's got a penguin on it. Well, thank you. That's very helpful, you clever girl. You're a very clever girl. A little penguin card from... Oh, again. People I didn't think were sending cards to us because they don't usually, so I didn't send them a card. Right, now we have two more cards to send now. This is from my godfather and his partner and children. That is from Uncle James. Yeah. She is going to have a filled day later with my birthday presents and Christmas. <gasps> you are going to love Christmas with all that wrapping paper. She just basically loves anything that makes this noise. We're just going to stay in for the rest of the day. Um, I'm waiting for my mum to pop round now. Don't know what time my mum's coming. She said she'd come in the afternoon. My mum's going to come round. We're going to do presents and um, hang out together for a little bit. And then Doug will get back from work. And then Doug and I will go out and my mum will look after Delilah. I thought I'd show you this lovely bracelet that Melissa and Ben bought me for my birthday. I've been wanting some really dainty bracelets recently. So this is perfect. It's dark outside now. But if this stone was under natural lighting, you'd see how pretty it is. It just sort of looks black here, but it's actually this sort of really nice deep blue colour. And here I've been staring at my presents from Doug all day. Um, they've actually been under the tree for maybe the last week. Anyone who has their birthdays around Christmas, do you find that sometimes some of your birthday presents end up under the tree? Because um, De Doug definitely puts mine under the tree. But yeah, these are from Doug and I'm waiting for him to get home from work so I can open them. My mum's been here for a couple of hours. I've opened Prezi's. Doug's back from work. I've just opened Doug's presents from him to me. I'll show you what I got later. But my ASOS parcel that I ordered ordered last night has just arrived <laughs> i don't know why it's so big i thought i'd show you what i got and try them on because i know you guys like it when i do that i probably won't be keeping all of this stuff but i will link all of it in the description oh yeah i ordered a couple of chokers because i want to find some chokers that i like again i i'm wanting some like dainty jewelry oh this is one of the um presents that my mum bought me i got another bracelet this is from oliver bonus so i'll link it in the description and look how lovely that is i love it it's just so sort of clean cut and not too in your face it just sort of goes with anything let's quickly try these bits on actually i'm gonna put my jeans back on because i've currently got my pajama bottoms on because we just gave delilah a bath and i didn't want to get my jeans wet so i'm gonna put my jeans back on and i'll come back got my jeans on so you can get a better idea of what things look like. First thing is this, this colour green. It's quite sort of holy. <laughs> it's not going to be the warmest of jumpers. This will actually be quite nice during springtime. This is actually a maternity item, but I liked what it looked like. So I'm hoping it looks okay. That actually looks okay. I really like the cut and colour because the equivalent, non-maternity equivalent to this, has a big cut out the back, which I don't like. Um, again, you can't really, can you see the color better there? Awful lighting. Oh, this is just a bog standard t-shirt. I think what I'm gonna do, because I'm in quite a bit of a rush to get ready and I wanna go and spend time with Doug and my mum, I'm just gonna hold things up and if you like what they look like, the links will be in the description and then you can go and see them on the models. So I have this one, which should be quite a nice easy tee to fling on. Oh, this is a, little play suit can't really see it i probably i don't know what this will look like on but it was one of those things that i bought and thought yeah i'll give it a go <laughs> got another stripey well it's sort of it's not a t-shirt it's sort of a, a thick t-shirt but not quite a jumper it looks good on the model nice and slouchy and comfy then i got a plain black t-shirt um, but it looked like a really nice cut and then I got this huge oversized jumper which looks very snuggly and cozy and then the last thing but i'm not sure about 
the cut or the colour. I'm going to try it on and see what it looks like. So I just left Delilah with my mum. She was fast asleep after I just fed her, bless her. She was on the sofa like, oh, <laughs> fighting the sleep. We have booked a table at this place called Pasta Madre, which I have been eyeing up for ages, as some of you may know, because I walk past every single day. Hello, guys. We are literally the only people in this place. <laughs> Doug's got a beer. I've got a nice glass of red wine, but um, I don't know if you can tell how big this is. They did not measure it, so um, I'm probably gonna have to be a little bit careful. Won't be drinking all of it. To start, we've just got some garlic bread and some olives. Doug's got a pizza, which I'm really regretting not getting now. And then I've got this uh, mushroom pasta with sage butter. And now we've got dessert. And Doug thought he'd try this. And then, just, I think you just go for it. So nice. And I've gone for chocolate mousse. home now and dinner was really tasty. Bumped into my auntie when she was walking home. We saw her outside the window. We were like, oh hello. Um, so she quickly popped in and said hi. Yeah, so after dessert I had a decaf coffee and um, and then we walked home. I've just gotten home to find Delilah asleep on my mum but she's not just asleep on my mum like in her arms. She's asleep like this like wrapped around my mum's body. It's so cute. It's now time for me to get ready for bed. So take my makeup off, get into my PJs, clean my teeth, which reminds me my toothbrush is on charge here. Yeah, and then just go to bed. And once again, just on time, my battery is flashing. It always flashes just as I say goodbye for bed. I'll show you what dog got me for my birthday in the next vlog, which actually probably won't be until Christmas Eve so I've got a few to catch up on so yeah I'm gonna miss out a couple of days vlogging otherwise I'm just not gonna be able to catch up and get all these vlogs up I hope you enjoyed the vlog I had a good birthday it was a nice birthday it's a different birthday I think it's your birthdays are very different when you're a parent but it was it was nice I really enjoyed having brunch and then seeing my mum and then going out for some dinner and then having a little little bit of red wine and some pasta and some garlic bread. Yeah, it's been it's been a good day overall. And I've had some lovely presents. And Doc's present was a really good present, but I will show you it in the next vlog. So until then, um I hope you have a good day wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.